Hi, Yoshi. Hi, Hi teacher. Yoshi. Hey, good night. How are you? Good night. I've been to how you hear. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one session today. That's good. Maybe. <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. Oh. Nobody knows it's Friday. You know why? It could be many reasons. Oh, Blanky is joining right now. It, today, the traffic was horrible since 4 p.m. That's amazing. That's horrible. I got to go to Maria today, and then I had to come back to my grandpa's house at, at um, San Marcos, and then I had to go back to Maria, and then I had to come back here. So today was horrible, at least regarding traffic. So that could be, right, Blanquita? Yeah. The traffic is horrible as well, Josh. Josh, do you, you have a, a car or you have to take the bus? I have a car, but actually because I am working from home, Ah, that's nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know, it's really, it, it has advantages, right? Uh, yes, talking about traffic jams, talking about rest more time, it's uh -huh. really, really nice. Yes, and, and the also, stress. The stress, I don't have to uh, pay for food. Uh -huh. I used to spend a lot of money on food because I am not the person who is going to uh, believe me, prepare my lunch, mm -hmm. even... Even uh, I guess that is cheaper, but I didn't do it. I never do it when I was at uh, outside. Maybe because I, you were you were tired, right? Yes, I was mm -hmm. tired because I was studying when I started working. I uh, will study in the yeah. university. Uh, wake up at four o'clock in the morning because wow. I got the yeah I got the shift from five a.m. to three p.m. Mm. and okay. then I must go to the university. Yes. And I come back home maybe at a very nine o'clock. That was a time schedule. Oh my god! I so got. I, <laughs> I no, I got it. I understand. I understand how it is. Yeah, so definitely, of course, you were tired enough just to just prepare for your lunch dinner. Yeah, I know that. I know it's complicated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this has a advantage regarding that. And exactly. You know, and not if you just counting, you spend a lot of in, in food, breakfast, yeah. lunch, brunch or a break Oof, it's a lot of money i understand yeah i know but that's so that is one of the advantages to stay home right <laughs> that is one of the yes. advantages yeah you know what yes. i love most to work at from home is that i could spend time with my family and especially with my babies with my pets because they supposedly work with me and we change from one room to another, right? And uh, of course, I turn on the computer, put, uh, just open all the browsers and all the programs that I use every day, and they just jump in into the bed. They already have their spots. And what they said, what they do is like <sighs> searching for a pillow oh, oh. and they fall asleep. Yeah, you know what? Today, because in the morning, and I don't know where you live, guys, but with, uh, where I live, if it was a little bit chilly, it was a little bit cold today in the morning. So basically, what, what I had to do is find a blanket and put a blanket on them. You know what blanket is? No, teacher. Blanket, no, cobija, <laughs> cobija, uh, uh, colcha, yeah, a blanket, okay. yeah. I got it. I have a, a huge blanket that my, my husband uh, bought it from me. It's, 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 it has a, everything related to, to France. The Tour Eiffel, coffee, hearts, and all the stuff. So, but it's a huge one, and, and it's a little warm. It's the one that's it's like that. The one that are like uh, peluditas, like that one, soft. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, you know what? I, I, I just put it on the other bear because, of course, I just recently uh, wash it, and it's clean, and it smells like good, right? Because of all the things that you put to clean your, 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 your clothes. And guess who used them today? Who use it? Mr. Whiskey and Mr. Chestnut, they were laying on the other bed and they already have that blanket. And I was like, that blanket has recently cleaned and you are using it already. And they were like this, laying on the bed with the pillow and the blanket. <laughs> so what I had to do is to cover both of them. And they were like babies, like the babies laying on the bed with the blanket and the pillow. You cannot so imagine. Right? Yeah, no, no. Whiskey and chestnut are dogs. Sassy is the cat, the baby girl of the house. So sometimes that three of them are laying on the bed. Can you imagine? And all of them are covered with blanket. And they were like, ah, oh. like that. 
and one of them he was giving me a five. Chestnut, when I said, hey, where's my baby? Where's my baby? He's like, like this, like I'm shy. And then give me your hand, give me the whole five. And he's like this. He's nice. He's he's a baby. He's two years old. And Whisk is Chestnut's father. He is um nine years old. And Sassy is just one year. Uh, but you cannot imagine. Chestnut is crazy. And all of them. I got a black car. You for, got a what one? For, no, I got a black car, but he <gasps> passed away. Oh. I guess four years ago. I found him uh, outside my home. My mother doesn't want to be here with that cat because it was black, completely black. And doesn't matter, know, elegant. Man. And the how you listen the world that's supposed to be black cars at back for bad lucky or something like that. Uh -huh. no, yes, I don't believe that. <laughs> but in this case, um, um, and also uh, we remember, have you seen a movie that is called Becker? Becker is a black car, and no. he, he was living with uh, with a Grammy. He uh -huh. passed she passed away, uh -huh. and she mentioned to her their daughters to to grand granddaughter, sorry, to take care of Becker. But uh, mm -hmm. in this case, the, the three girls, just one of them, take care of Becker and they, she gives to food and she take care of him. And the, the cat got angry with the other two girls and supposedly he was the, the criminal because they, she, they passed away, the other girls, they asked. Wow. And in the movie, it's really, really nice. <laughs> you really watch it. Oh, oh, oh my god so my mom my mom was scared when that car appeared into my house and she he used to sleep yeah <laughs> he used to sleep with me Aww. and when he passed away i don't know but i felt uh, like he was there oh believe me and it was it was crazy <laughs> of course because you miss him and you already yeah. get used to his presence so that that's perfectly normal yeah Oh, I love, no, my cat it is- was a, Forastero. Oh. His name was Forastero. Forastero. Because he appeared, <laughs> yeah, because he appeared at my home and I- He's a rabbalero. I want to call him Becker, <laughs> but my mother oh. told me, don't play her that nicely. Of oh, course, I love cats. Forastero. Cats are very, very nice. My one is, is a uh, great, it's like a tiger. But she's oh, beautiful. Nice. She's lovely. And what you said, she's really, um, I don't know, she pampers me sometimes. Yeah, she gave me a massage as well with the pets. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, Mr. Whiskey is here next to me right now. But you know what he likes? He likes to turn it on the air conditioner. When I turn it off, he leaves. <laughs> and is a croyito or is no, Mr. Whiskey is a mix from a terrier and a schnauzer. Um, Whiskey, can you come here? Let me see if I can show it to you. Uh, give me just a moment. Let me grab him here. I will present it to you. I'll be right back. <laughs> Whiskey, come here. Everybody wants Whiskey, what a name. <laughs> just for a moment, right? Just to be honest with you. You are a little bit shabby. So, ugh. Okay, yes, just for a few minutes, I promise. Then I will let you go, okay? But you're gonna give a class with me. You will give a class with me, right? Excuse me, Whiskey. Yes, Mr. Whiskey. Just allow me a couple of minutes, okay? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, okay. He's here. Ah, he's Hi. too big. Whiskey? Hi, Whiskey. I think he doesn't <laughs> listen to you because I, I do have the earphones. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. And I... But his name is nice, nice to meet you guys. Okay, Ooh, let's go. Ooh. Whiskey. Thanks God, he's a, he's a snouser. Oof. He's chubby. He has 25 pounds. <laughs> you know what, he was shy because he, he used to like Put her eggs fierce like that. He's beautiful. He's nine years old. He's All righty, there you old. go. Oh, we have somebody else. You see, we have Judy already enrolled, Erwin, Madeline, Doris. 
Good and Andresito, good evening, and Mr. Jarvin, good. Jarvin, good, good finally, maybe once in a while. Good evening, Andresito, I will be able to see his face. I don't know, Jarvin is so shy. You, you already see me, teacher. You said that I already have seen you? Yes. Uh, but when you are in a break of room, Yes. But not in the main, uh, <laughs> in the main display. No, in the main room, you know, never in your entire life. Okay. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for that. I thought but it was next, said, don't worry. I'm going to turn it on my corrected. camera. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's because it's lying on the hammock. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just teasing you. That's okay. You don't worry about that. Yeah, as long as you turn it on the camera when you're your friends, that's enough. He's shy with me. I don't know why. But that's okay. <laughs> it's part of the process. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Jarvin. I'm just teasing you. All right, guys. Oh, tell me what we have seen yesterday. Uh-huh. Any ideas? Third conditional. Uh, 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 the introduction. Yes, the introduction of the third conditional, which is you're perfectly right. Exactly. Today, we're going to get into it. Tell me that welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the class. <laughs> okay, today we're going to focus more on that and we're gonna do a lot of exercises, a lot of um, speaking exercise, a lot of writing exercise, which I do have a lot for you. And we're going to do a listening exercise as well. So we're going to develop the three skills today. Isn't it amazing? And Freddy said, no. <laughs> yeah, actually, he said it, you know. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, as I, I <laughs> saw you. You're like, <laughs> that's why Mr. Yeah, Jarvin doesn't turn around the camera because he's like, mm, no. <laughs> yeah, but you will love it. You will love grammar with me. It's really easy peasy, queasy. As long as you understand the, the exercise and everything. Hey, let me ask you something. But any chance did you take time to watch the pronunciation of uh, irregular verbs and regular verbs that I sent it to you and also the PDF that I sent to you about the verbs? Be honest. Actually, in my case, I only checked that PDF. Which is good. Well, at least you did something which is very really good. But please try to uh, listen to um, the regular verbs because this is really important for you to um, improve your pronunciation. It's really, that's the really YouTube video. What's up, Freddy? Oh, that's the YouTube video. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of them. <laughs> I can share it to you, yes, because I really need that you practice that pronunciation because that is one of the, the hardest part when you're, when you're using the verbs. It, of course, everybody, uh, all the verbs in past, you put ed right for regular verbs. All of them ends edd. -D. But the problem is that the, not all of them has been pronounced or are pronounced like the same way. Yeah. And so, and you have to practice that in order to get used to it. Not only to the sound, but at the same time, your facial, your nose, and even your throat. Because there are some of them that when you pronounce, if you put some two fingers here, you do not feel any vibration. But there are some of them, when you put your fingers here, you feel a vibration. So that is including physically, there is a difference. So that's why it's really important that you to practice that. Okay, hopefully during the, the Saturday, you have more time and then you can listen to it because I know that you have your jobs, your responsibility, and, and it's really hard, right, to, to like, put everything together. I do understand that. But I'm, I would like you to do like an extra mile. You promise that? I will do my best that he uh, tell me this like, I will do my best teacher. I know that you will do your best. You're a great student. That's what I love you. <laughs> Very good. I mean, as a student, wait, come on, Freddie. I'm just teasing you. All righty, very good job. Guys, let me ask you a question. And I will need the opinion about that. That is a really interesting question. Uh, what would you do if you found $750,000? What would you do if you found $750,000? What would you do? 
Think about it. Ah, there is a third like what? <laughs> uh huh. Think about it. What would you do if you found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? You know what? How much it is, right? Only on my dreams. <laughs> no, of course, but it's a possibility, right? I will put you that, in, the word, the, the question in, in the word. <laughs> do you? Are you sure? Only if you rob a bank. <laughs> ah, don't give ideas. If you found, I will put you right now in the chat. If you found. That's a. Okay. Almost a million dollars. Almost. Mm -hmm. The difference is 250. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so what would you do if you found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? What would you do? There's I a bought lot. a house at Santa Elena. <laughs> ah, okay, that's a good one. You will be close to me, but not too close. <laughs> no, just kidding. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> we will be neighbor. Uh, mm, yeah, we can say. So let's see. Depends on the traffic. It could be between fifteen to twenty minutes. Okay. I will have my own car business. Wow, your own car business, very good. What else? I would like to travel to you another country. You would like to travel country. another country? Which country? Tell me, Madeline, share with us, which country? Uh, France, France, <gasps> France. Oh, France. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and maybe you can talk with Ratatouille, right? Yeah, I like <laughs> the, like, the, uh, the, um, the culture? language that they speak. Oh, I can teach you. Oh. Don't worry about it. Okay. I will share some words. <laughs> I already share a word with you guys in French, right? Yeah. Oh my God, that's nice. Yeah, I love France as well. It's really nice. It's expensive. In, Par in Paris, it's real expensive. Yes, but it is a good, you know what? That's a good, um, basically, we can set a good um, goal to reach, right? Learn French. Oh, yes. So, you know, I, I think that is a little bit uh, difficult to uh, learn that language, right? Yes, so that I really recommend the first learn English before you would like to learn any other language. Because English trains your brain, but at the same time, your tongue. Your tongue. Not tongue, tongue. Tongue. You write it tongue, you write it tongue, but you pronounce tongue. tongue. Tongue, you do not open your mouth. Tongue, and there's a vibration here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's really lovely. I love French too. I love it. Okay, break is in English, right? La pause cafe is in French. La pause cafe. How many years? Uh, do what? How, how many years do you spend uh, learning that language? Mm, two years and a half. But I've been practicing French since 2015, I think. When, when I was a kid, I was learning French. Oh, that was a long time ago. I'm just kidding. Yes. <laughs> but I, I only remember the days of the week. Okay. Some, some can can you share with us? Uh, Lundi, Marty, Mercury, Jeudi. Uh, dimanche, Domingo, for example. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And Friday? Bernadri, Bernadri. 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 You have a here, right? Uh, yes. It's, it's like a deja vu, right? Like you already have seen that before. Uh -huh. That is a deja vu. Very good. Congratulations. Excellent. Oh my God, I feel proud of Mr. Andres. That's amazing. All righty. So remember how the what? How do you say Jojo in English? Duncan. You said the last time, Big though. Duncan. Yeah, Duncan. I tell me that you like it. How do you say Giorgio in French? Remember that I told you that? I told you that? Giorgio and Georgia, right? Because we just use a masculine, uh, feminine, and masculine. 
What do you say, Georgia? Come on, I told you that. Remember, remember the train sound? We, uh huh, Francisco? Uh huh. Uh -huh, exactly, exactly. Exactly. La chuchu de la classe et le chuchu de la classe. Hmm? Uh -huh. yeah, c'est ça, c'est ça, c'est ça, that means that's it. C'est ça, oui. Oh, excellent. Very good job. Very, very good job. We can practice, Madeline, if you want now to. Now we're going to learn any other language. <laughs> if you want to. No, I'm just kidding. No, that I wish. No, you know what the problem is with French is that the grammar is a lot extensive. I don't want to it's learn. like Spanish. <laughs> you know, it's a little bit complicated. Yeah, it is part of the um, Roman um, languages. We have a, uh, it comes from Latin. So from Latin, you uh, it comes on um, Spanish, French, Portuguese, and Italian. That Those called the Romans languages. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's why they have like Italian. a similarity. Uh, that's what you know. What is the hardest part? It's the sound because we use more a lot of the nose and the neck on the throat in this case, but uh, also the grammar and the accent. We have a uh, let's see, we have like three, three or four accents. Mm -hmm. In the past, the past is difficult because it depends on the action that you're telling. You can use one type of the past or another type of the past and depends on the verb that you're using. You can use either one or other. Yes, so it's a little bit complicated. But if you love it, <laughs> go for it. I, I, I prefer it with scrambled eggs and beans in the morning. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. All right, guys, so uh, Madeline said that she will travel around the world, right? If you, if for example, she found $750,000, what about the rest of you? What will you do? I would like to visit a son in Italy. Really? In Italy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, maybe one maybe day. Of course you miss it. Of course I understand that. Yeah, but maybe, who knows, right? Yeah. But who else? Who else? Who wants to share their ideas? Uh huh. Jesse, Judy, Doris. I don't know who wants to participate. I need only one. Only one. It will be enough. Invest. Invest in what, Judy? Um, I don't know. Um... Yes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> A house, maybe. In a house, okay. Yeah, we do have different ideas, right? Depends our needs, depends our goals to reach, our projects, etc. Okay, that's good. And you will say, teacher, what you were asking about that? Okay, why? Because as Mr. Freddy said, <laughs> it's almost impossible, right? To found that kind of, uh, or that amount of money. And basically, guys, that's the reason why I formulate that question and throw it to you or right. pass it to you. A few years ago, that happens right here on Cajutla. Uh -huh. um, one of those cars that that always um taking the money to the banks, they had an accident. Uh -huh. And all the money fell out of the car. Really? Oof. Yeah, and the people are going crazy and growing the money. Of course, of course, because everybody has their needs, right? Yeah, and there was one guy that um he started fighting with the other people, and um actually he got let's say mo the most of the money, and he waited to the authorities come and he gave it back. Really? Yeah. Well, so at least he's honest. And supposedly it was like more than a million dollars. Wow, almost more than the example that I'm giving you. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, and why I'm giving you this example? Because guys, when we're talking about third conditional, first of all, if you see, we use the verb in the past. Have you seen that? If you found, 
what is the the, the, the word the, um, the verb found is the past of which verb find. Uh, find exactly find and what does it mean find in spanish Encontrar. exactly so if we're talking about third conditional where the first part or the if part we're going to use the simple past for what you will say well for an imaginary situation with the one that I gave it to you. And what we'll do or what we're going to use with the possible consequence. If you see, we have, we have it as a, as a question. We're going to use would, would, or any other model verb. We can use wouldn't as a negative way. We can use could, and we can use might. And remember guys, that since those are um, auxiliary, most of the time when we are formulating a sentence, we're going to use the auxiliary plus the main verbs. And I will show it to you right now in a moment. Let me share right now my screen because I have it here with me. Okay, can you see my screen? Yeah, right? I make it bigger, is yes. it okay? All right, so if you see guys, it basically, the third conditional is when we talk about unreal situations, all right? And we're going to use the if every time plus the past tense of the verse. It could be regular verbs. It could be irregular verbs. No problem about that. Depends on what you would like to say or the situation that you would like to show or to put it on the table is exactly what verb that you're going to use. And about the consequences. We can use would, could, or might, plus the main verb. Remember, would, could, or might are what we call model verbs. Remember that? The model verbs, yeah? Do you remember that? Verbos modulares, model verbs, that help us to give more significance to the, to the sentence itself. So after, the model verse, it could be in present or it could be positive, like this one would, could, or mind. You will always have to use or have to put the member after that. Return, buy, and go. For example, look at the question. Here's the question that I formulate to you, right? So if, if I found $750,000, I wouldn't spend it. I wouldn't return it so fast. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. I might go to the police, <laughs> like the example of ready, right? Et cetera. Yeah, you see? So this guy's the third conditional is used for a situation in the past, an imaginary situation in the past, or something that has already passed. And um, you can give a consequence, different consequence, or maybe the result of the situation could be different if the person has uh, acted in a different way. For example, let me give you an example in the past. Let's pretend that Kenya works for um, a call center. Yeah, you work in a call center, I know. Okay. But Kenya, she looks nice and everything, blah, 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 but she's not a good co-worker. Now, this is a hypothetical example, okay? And I'm saying that's true. That's a hypothetical example. And she's not um, also a good employee, right? So she doesn't use appropriate language in the work place and when the supervisor approached to her and also give an update information or if, uh, look up at her metrics and there's nothing she needs to improve she doesn't care so uh, she only stayed uh, at her workplace for three months what happened in the neck right she got fired she got fired exactly so how we can use that as scenario with a third conditional. It could be an uh, unreal situation or it could be something that if the, if the person has 
done a different uh, actions or a different behavior, maybe the result or the consequence should be different. For example, I can say, if Kenya had improved, mm -hmm, have had, or oh, you had, the, if you can say that, if Kenya had improved her behavior, she wouldn't got fired. You see? She wouldn't got fired. That means that her consequence wouldn't be the one that we she's right now facing, got fired, if she has changed her behavior before. You see? Right now she got fired. So there's nothing else that she has that she can do. But her consequence or her result of the situation should maybe have been different if she changed it, if she had changed it. Now you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah? Erwin, Doris, Telmita. Yeah, you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yeah. So you know how we how we use the, the third conditional? Hmm? It's easy peasy quizy, right? Or no? <laughs> I will give you an example, another example. Don't worry about that. Okay, let me give you another example because I have it here. There you go. Let me share right now my screen with you and I come back. There you go. I will give you these examples before we put the writing activity in practice. You see, there's a tip here. I, I wanna share right now with you guys. Let me see if I can put it a little bit bigger, this one. Let's see what I have here. Yes, I'm gonna put it a little bit bigger. Would you like me to put it a little bit bigger or it's okay like this way? Is it okay? Is it visible? Can you see it? Yeah? Yes, Is it teacher. clear? Okay. Yes. That's that's what I want to know, that everybody can see it. Okay, take a look at this part. This is the formula, guys. This is the formula. If, past, you can set past perfect or simple past, comb, would, and have, plus the past participle of the verb. Okay, to describe a situation in the past that didn't happen and to imagine its result. That is the first scenario that I gave it to you about the $750,000, remember? But also you can use the same thing when you would like to talk about that something could have a different result if that person or the situation, if you have done something different for what you have done. Don't worry, Freddy, so I'm going to show it to you right now. Let's do an example. If he had sent the files on time, si hubiera mandado los archivos a tiempo, the shipping order would not have been delayed. Look at this. Si hubiera mandado los archivos a tiempo, la orden de, 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 de llevada, ¿verdad? de entrega, no se hubiera retrasado. ¿Sí? Podemos, y miren, ¿se acuerdan lo que pasa de lo mismo? Que tenemos un if aquí, ¿se recuerdan? Cuando vamos la primera parte con el if, ¿se acuerdan que siempre vamos a poner una coma? Antes de la, del result, the consequence. ¿Estamos bien aquí? ¿Ya? Freddy, no te veo convencido. Yes? Okay. The rest, I want to hear you guys. Are you okay yes. so far? Okay. Veamos esto, es, vamos lo de otra manera, miren. Hoy, lo, hoy le vamos a dar vuelta. The shipping order would not have been delayed if he has sent the files on time. Estamos diciendo lo mismo, yes. Hemos le dado vuelta a la oración, yes. La orden de, de entrega no hubiera estado retrasada si él hubiera mandado los archivos a tiempo. Como le dimos vuelta, se recuerdan que aquí la primera parte, en esta segunda opción, tenemos primero la consecuencia y después la situación que causó eso, right? Uh -huh. Entonces, miren, lo mismo. Si la sentence empieza con if, es necesario poner una coma. Si la sentence empieza con el consequence, it's not necessary to put the coma. ¿Qué es lo que expresa el third conditional? Mira, sorrow or regret about an event in the past. Example. If the manager hadn't intervened, or intervened, si no hubiera intervenido, 
the employees would have create or created a bigger conflict. Yeah? Are we good on that? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahorita? ¿Preguntas so far hasta ahorita? Are you sure? ¿Quién se está durmiendo? Erwin, te estás durmiendo. No te me duermas. Grab a cup of coffee. Te voy a mandar un gran, ¿cómo se llama? Truck. Un 18 wheeler de Starbucks coffee right away. It's on time. Thank Starbucks thank coffee. You. Yeah. You know what? In the morning, the, the, when we chat between our um, our co-workers in the morning, they said, I'm a, everybody says, hey. Ah, and they send like um, like uh, images, right? With a with a Silvestre line on the bed or something like that. And they said, I need a coffee. There's always a, um, a co-worker, Anita, is one of the backup managers sometimes. And they said, Anita, what? The other one is Fonchito. And they said, what, Fonchito? Anita, I'm sleepy because Fonchito is a graveyard. He works, she works uh, from, <laughs> from 1 a.m. until 9 a.m., right? Can you imagine that schedule? So he said, I need a coffee, Anita, but with a sweet bread. Don't forget the Samita, right? And um, he said, I, definitely, I need a, a coffee with Red Bull together. And Anita said, no way. Don't worry, Fonchito. I'm sending you the coffee right away. And she sent a picture with a, with a Starbucks truck. But it was not a simple Starbucks truck. It was an 18-wheeler. You know what 18-wheeler is? Remember, um, what's the name of that? What's the name of this of those robots cartoon? Oh, Transformers. Remember Optimus Prime? Optimus Prime was an 18-wheeler. Son esos camiones que tienen 18 ruedas. Sí, sí. Nosotros lo conocemos como 18-wheeler porque en realidad son 18. ¿Sí? Entonces son unos camiones enormes. Entonces un camión así le mandó una foto y decía, a Starbucks coffee, almost, almost arrived to your house. And I was like, oh my God, I wish it could be real, right? Well, imagine and, if you drink all that coffee, your heart will start beating fast and then we'll stop. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And then she sent another 18-wheeler image with Red Bull. <laughs> can, can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> Because can you imagine my poor co-worker? He's worked from 1 a.m. to 9 a.m. Oh, that's a terrible schedule. And he said, oh, I'm counting. I'm counting. He said, I almost leave. <laughs> and when he leaves, like, bye. I got to go to sleep. Poor of him. Yes, yeah, like a graveyard is really I'm tough working at schedule. ends at 7 p.m. Yeah, that was like... And today they ask us for OT. You know what OT is, guys? OT, the abbreviation of OT? Nope. Overtime. Overtime, yes. People, people that work in call center, they already have the idea. So they said, OT, OT, OT. And like, I'm sorry, I got to give English classes. So <laughs> I cannot support you. Yeah, they were asking OT from 6 p.m. until midnight today. Because we oh, are... Nice. Yes, we are... We're in a, in a heavy season right now. So, oof, but they say, no way, Jose. No way, Jose. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? We were like, really back to back today. Okay. Yeah. So it was really nice. So that's why I'm going to send Erwin a uh, Starbucks 18-wheeler right away. I will send it to you in a couple of minutes. Okay. Got it. Cool, right? But I'm sorry. I'm not promised Amita. I'm not promising me that, but at least the coffee is, is on its way. <laughs> All righty, very good. So you see, guys, how we use third conditional? It's not complicated, right? Let's give it a try. Would you like to write? Would you like to do some writing activity right now? Let's double check if we have understood. Let me share right now my screen with you, and I would like everybody to help me do this. Let's see what we have here. All right. I have it here. So let me share right now my screen. There you go, guys. I have the writing activity. We have six sentences. If you if you see, all of them will start with F. That's why we have, if you have noticed, we have the commas here, right? We do have the commas here, right? So I make it a little bit easier for you right now. Okay, but the challenge is 
that we will need to use the verbs that are in parentheses, right? The verb that are in parentheses. So you need to read very careful the meaning of the sentence because if you put not attend, that means that this has to be negative, okay? And you see, we have here the other verbs. And in this case, you are going to use the model verse here, okay? So guys, I want you to work in pairs. I, mean, I don't want you to, to work individually. Now you're going to work in pairs, okay? For well, this. And I, and I will give it to you, this 841 right now. Mm, do you think 10 minutes will be enough? Yeah, right. Okay. Don't look at me like panic, like 10 minutes, guy. Yes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes is enough. And the IT department is not here. I don't know why. But thanks God that the IT department is not here. Hey, Coke. <laughs> Who's going to send me Coke today? No, I prefer coffee. No Coke for me. I prefer coffee. Why? Well, because the coffee is more natural. Coffee is too. <laughs> yeah, and coffee already has sugar. And you know what? If I drink coffee at night, to be honest with you, I'm like oval. You know what oval is? Oval? Oval? No? Yeah. You know, it's a verb. yeah, it's a verb. But you know what oval is, guys? Te colote? Te coloque? No, te colote. Te colote? Yeah? Oh, buito, right? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, because I'm like, oh, because I cannot sleep. So that's why I prefer coffee. Okay, guys, I already sent it through the WhatsApp. Can you please let me know if you guys received the writing activity? All yes, the, yes. You don't have to, thank you, Madeline. You don't have to invent the verbs. The verbs are already there in parentheses. All that you gotta do is double check if they're positive, negative, and uh, the, wood, the, 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 the reason part, you could use would, might, could, wouldn't, et cetera, okay? So let me put it together. We are 14 because with me, we are 15. Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to put in a different group right now. So we are 15. That means that we it could be three groups of five, right? Three groups of five, okay? Okay, let me check. Uh, three groups of five and two groups of in one group of two. Okay, cool. All righty. Accept the invitation, please, guys. I already sent it. I already sent it right now. We have 10 minutes to work on this, and then we come back and we share the ideas, okay? Accept the invitation. Okay, I'm missing. Erwin, I'm missing that you confirm. Uh, Glendy, there you go. You already work, we're going to work with Josue and Telmita. Please confirm the invitation, Glendy. Only Glendy is missing. Okay. Okay, guys, do you think what you're going to do? Or you have any doubts about the writing activity right now? Uh, Yoshi? Mm -hmm. We are You're good? working. Okay, cool. All right, any doubts? Please send me a message. You guys continue working. Let me double check the other guys. Okay. Any doubts? Any questions so far? Or we're good, guys. We we're good? Are good yeah. Okay, cool. Let's continue working. Let me double check the other guys right now. You okay? <laughs> any doubts? Any questions? Yes, no problem. So oh. good? I, I tried to complete. Cool. We ready complete. to rock and roll. All right, continue yeah. working, guys. Okay. Any yeah. doubts? Any questions? So far, so good. Uh, I have a, a, a question. Uh, go ahead, girl. Yes. Uh, we can use cool. You said cool. Yeah. Would, would, wouldn't, couldn't, might, ah, okay. etc. Mm -hmm. okay. Remember the mobile verse. Hmm? Okay. And at, at the beginning, we're going to change it to the past. Of course. Remember that we got to oh. use the past or the past participle. Or the okay. past perfect. Yeah, depends. Mm -hmm. 
There you go. Let me double check with the other guys. Okay. Help me. Hello, um, Jesse. Any doubts? Hello. Any questions? Uh, I, I think I have a doubt. Go okay. ahead, girl. Uh, uh, can, in, in this in this case, uh -huh. when we use uh, interperson, uh, the um, the auxiliary is, uh, is is the same like first person. For oh some, yes. Some, oh, okay. Yes, the model verse do not change. Ah, okay, okay, mm -mm. okay. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me double check. Let's see who else. Oh, yes, I'm missing somebody. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me double check the other guys right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, if the number six could be if Mr. Jenkins haven't talked about Jeff pulling her manager park, will have done something about, right? Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Erwin, can you tell me the number five? I didn't take note about. Yes, you're right on. Number. Number five. Number five, please. Okay. The company had not invested in the new building. We would have the chair to be Okay. We have a label because it's a lot of a lot of Yes, yes. I yes. think maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. Let me check something here. What's this? What is this? This is my computer, it's a problem. Okay. 
decir cubículos if the company Any doubts, any questions so far, guys? We're good? Are you okay? Yes. Yeah, did I you did. finish? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, cool. All mm -hmm. right, yeah. Let's go back. Okay, there you go. Let's go back, guys. We're waiting for the rest of the guys. Hi, Glendy, welcome. We have Blanquita, Kenya, Jarvin, Doris, they're coming back. Mm -hmm. I had I had problems with my internet. With your internet, That's yeah. Why. Yeah, <laughs> I, I noticed that, Blanquita. But did you already fix it? Yeah, I always have to. I don't know how to say it. Oh my God, I forget. Log in and log out? I, I will, yeah, I always have to restart the internet because lately it, it happens a lot for me. Uh -huh. So so you just basically restart. restart just the, the internet connection directly with the router or your computer? Yeah, yeah that's right. Oh, uh, directly from the router. Mm -hmm. I got it. Yeah, that happens. But don't worry. You're you're here. That's what is important. <laughs> Very good. Thank yeah. you, guys. Thank you so much for, for doing your best, Blanky, to come back. All righty, guys. Now, let's share what you have. Uh, 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 Josue, what about number two? What do you have for number two? Two, two. Two, 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 two. If Tim... Yeah. If Tim had not attended uh, the meeting, he uh, this wouldn't wouldn't, wouldn't have, yeah. Uh huh. Go ahead, continue. Would have uh, had missed this Serena Smith uh -huh. with a chance to get a promotion. Very good. Now say it again, but try to like. Say it in a little bit faster way. You can do it. Let's practice pronunciation. Do it one more time. If they have not attended the meeting, he wouldn't have missed the change to get a promotion. He wouldn't have missed or he would have missed? He would have missed uh -huh. the, the change to get a promotion. The change or the chance? The chance Very to get a promotion. Good. Okay, do me a favor. Do it one more time. You can do it. You can do it, Josecito. You can do it. This thing had, has not attended the meeting. He would miss the change to get a promotion. Chance. Chance to get a okay. promotion. Wait one more time. If the team <laughs> has not attended the meeting, he will have missed the chan chance to get a promotion. Yeah, very good. That's my first one. See the good job. Excellent. Very good job. All righty. Uh -huh. Blanky, what about, no, Blanky, no, because Blanky was not here. You were like having issues with the internet. Jesse, what about number three? What do you have for us for number three? Number three. Yes. If the agent had listened more attentively, he would have to understand the customer's request. He would have understand. Uh-huh. understand the customer's request. 
Very good, the customer request, excellent. Do you have the same guys or you have a different way? The same. The same, very good, excellent. Number four, Freddy, what you have for us with number four? Why are you me? I don't know. I just saw your 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 name and said he's, this guy is going to answer. Go ahead. No, you just saw my face. <laughs> exactly. That's I right. was wondering. <laughs> uh -huh. I was wondering exactly. You know why I was wondering because um all the answers that they gave they they just gave us. Uh huh. I was trying them on the platform and they all came wrong. Ah, don't worry. We're going to double check that. It could be for many reasons that I was letting you know. The coma, oh. etc. It could be many reasons, but we're going to double no, check that also. The, I use the comma, I use the where it has to be a capital letter. I used it. Uh -huh. so, and it still know. doesn't like you. Mm -mm. Don't so, worry. That's why I was. Okay. Do me a favor. If you can send like a screenshot and we're going to double check it as well. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to send it how I tried it, how I have heard it right now? or? No, how you tried it on the platform to see what's what what is the issue exactly? Oh. It could be because the platform doesn't like you. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it doesn't like. You. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, but but I just want if you can give it to me the answer for number four, please. Number four. Mm -hmm. Okay, is Frank had known? Uh huh. How were that? I've known you were at the office. Uh huh. He wouldn't. He wouldn't told you. He wouldn't tell you. He wouldn't tell you to stay at work, play hours. Uh -huh. He wouldn't tell you or he would tell you. Or he would have tell you. He would have told you. Uh-huh. He will have tell you, stay at work, late hours. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Judy. I'm telling the platform. <laughs> Judy, what about number five? What do you have for us for number five? Okay, let me see. No. Number five. If the company had no invested in the new building, mm -hmm. we will have to share cubicles. We'll have to share cubicles. Exactly. That's true. Very good. Excellent. Madeline, what about the last one? Number six. What do you have for us, girl? Madeline, 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 Madeline. Or maybe she's stood up and got a cup of coffee. Andresito, what do you have for number six for us? I have uh, Mr. James Jenkins had talked about Jeff Bollinger. Manager Park would have done something about it. Would have done or wouldn't have done? Good. good but I don't know if it's correct. Ah, do it again. It's imagine uh, and analyze the, the sentence. If Mrs. Jenkins had talked uh -huh, had talk or hadn't talked about Jeff bullying her. Uh, it's positive, but. It could be if positive or it could be negative. I don't know, think about it. Maybe it could be if Mr. Jenkins had talked about Jeff bullying her, mm -hmm. Marriott Park wouldn't done something about it. Very good, wouldn't do something about it. Excellent, okay. very good job. Remember, it's Mrs. Mrs. Jenkins. Mrs. Yes, that's the abbreviation of Mrs., which in okay. this case is when a, when a girl or a woman is already married, okay. right? Mrs. Mrs., okay. when a woman is married. Miss, that's like a Miss Universe, when somebody's single. And Mr. with a basically with a man, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Okay. You're welcome. No, thank you. All right, guys. Good. Good job. Excellent. Now I want you to help me with something. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Let me share right now this situation. And I want you to help me with this. Okay. I'm going to make only two groups today because of this. Okay, this is, I know it's just per work, but I want you guys to work together. This is the scenario. And Joshi, do me a favor. Can you please be so kind to read it for us? The scenario, let me put it a little bit bigger, which is much better. Okay. 
Yes, it's read as an error. Okay. Here, more Roger is a problematic employee who is about to be demoted. Demoted, that means fired. He, okay. He will look like employees from a different departments, back math, manager, press and important documentation late, and use the office equipment for personal purposes. What would you have done differently if you had been Roger's man manager? Give right. advice. Uh -huh. No, do me a favor. Try to read the question one more time. What would you have different if you had been Roger's manager? Do uh, read the, the question one more time, please. <clears throat> okay. What would have you done differently if you had been Roger's manager? Do it one more time, please. Teacher, you're no. I, I'm, what I, would, uh huh. Do it. Okay. What would you have done differently if you had been Roger's manager? Um, yeah, almost perfect. One more time with question intonation. Do one more time. Okay. What would you have done differently if you have been Roger's manager? Very good. That's what I meant. Excellent. Good job. Good job. That's my girl. I know you want to kill me, but that's my girl. <laughs> okay, guys. No, so, so the scenario is like this. This is a, a worse employee, right? Yes. He's about to get fired. Why? For many reasons. There is, let me, let's point it out each by each. Okay. The first reason why he's going to get fired, he bullied employees. And not the employees for his department, employees for a different department. He bad mouth managers. That means that he used bad words, right? Okay. And besides that, important documents he presented late and used equipment for personal purposes, nothing to do with the business. So the question is, if you are the manager of Roger, what do you have done? differently to help this guy okay that's the scenario now i'm going to be a bad teacher why because i'm not gonna share with you that scenario so you're not going to have anything writing why you got memory for what joshi read is what you will have it here and that information, you need to keep it here and formulate suggestions or how you will resolve that problem. Look at Telma. Telma is like, I'm going to kill you, girl, that you cannot imagine, teacher. <laughs> Tell me I'm teasing you. <laughs> okay, so we are 15. Let me do two groups here. Let's work together. I just need, guys, based on the situation, give suggestions. If you have been a Rogers manager, what will you have done differently? Okay, I just want you to do that for me. We have only two groups here. There you go. One group will be eight persons and the other one will be seven persons. All right. Please accept the invitation and work together. I would need three suggestions will be enough. Now, Glendita, please accept the invitation. Glendy, you're missing right now. Guy, do you understand what you're gonna do? Yes. 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 Do you remember that this Mr. Roger is going to get fired, right? Demoted. But do you remember the reason why? Yes. Uh huh, Maybe. Francisco. Give me one of the reasons. Yes, Mr. Roger used, for example, used the equipment of the office for personal, personal um, what? purposes. Purposes. Very good. That is one of the reasons. What is the other reason, Suecito? 
Híjole, teacher, no, ya ves que no, esta teacher es cosa seria. I remember the, the uh, first one, no, the second one. I remember the first one. What about the, uh -huh, yeah, no, I don't know, tell me, yes, you gotta remember. Uh -huh. He always give the files for the presentation on time. The important document, uh -huh. es, so, no, algo así. Exactly, he present the important documents late. That is the second reason. What is okay. third reason? Third reason. Yoshi, mm. Madeline, Kenya, Francisco, Doris, remember, you're going to do the suggestion what you have in your mind. Always, uh, well, no, always, uh, Mr. Roger, um, do bullying. Bullying? No. Bullying, yes. To the bullying. other co workers. Exactly. And the last one? Oh my God. Use, um, uh -huh, bad mouth with the manager. Exactly. Bad mouth is a, a, a not too professional language. Okay. So that's the reason. Now you have the reason why he's going to get fired. So if you have been a Rogers uh, manager, how would you have done or what would you have done to help this guy to, a, to a stop that behavior? And also to change it and not to get fired. I will need five, okay? Using the third conditional. Of course, using the third conditional. Everything is the same conditional because you remember that the third conditional is to use to, to ch have changed something that is already passed. And you have the consequence. He is going to get fired. That's for sure. But if you have been Royer's family or Royer's manager, you could have done something for him to avoid this consequence. So that's what I want. What do you have done differently to help Royer not get fired? That's what I want. It's 908, okay. I will give you until 915 to think about it, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me double check with the other guys. Let me double check. You will fight. Oh, no, he said he will fire. Ah, no, but 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 I don't. That that would be the consequence, of course. But remember, Roger is about to get fired. That's for sure. And do you remember which are the reasons why? What he has yeah, done? Yeah, he, he bullied employees uh -huh. from different departments. Uh -huh. He he's bad mouthed the managers, mm -hmm. and he presented important documents late. Very very late. Okay. And you are missing one more. And use the equipment for his personal purpose. Exactly. So that was the reason why they said, you know what, these men got to go out from the company. So if you have been Roger's manager, what would you have done differently? Not only to change the consequence that Roger has right now, was supposed to get fired, right? If also to stop his behavior. I just want suggestions. If you were her man, his manager, what would you have done differently to help him? That's what I want. Instead of firing him. Instead, of course. Exactly. Yeah. Well, first, first of all, um, give him a warning. Remember, don't tell me you gotta use the third conditional. Uh huh. The third conditional, because the third conditional is to change, right? something or or maybe to give like information that something could have done differently to avoid the consequence that we have right now i don't want to fire roger now he deserves it right because nobody has helped him or stopped his behavior so what you have done different that's what i want if you were roger's manager what would you have done differently to avoid him being fired, but at the same time to stop his behavior. Think about it. Uh, it's 9.10, I will give you until 9.15. It's going to be enough or you will need more time. Yeah. Uh -huh, Telmita, Jarvin, Blanquita, Erwin, more time. ¿Me entienden lo que van a hacer? Sí, una... ¿Sí? ¿Qué es lo que hubiera hecho diferente? Exacto. Acuérdate que third Roger. conditional es para 
hablar de una acción en pasado que se pudo haber sido hecho diferente para tener una, una consecuencia di, distinta a la diferente. que tiene hoy. Exacto. That's what I want. Well, I said, I would have gave him a warning. I would have given. Oh, uh -huh. given, yeah. Given him a warning and um, asked him to change his behavior. Uh -huh. If you want like to use the consequence first and then the if part, right? But also you can use the if part first and then the consequence. If I would have, if, uh, if I had given him a warning, for example, he would have changed his behavior. Like that. Mm -hmm. You see that idea? That's what yeah. I want. There you go. Okay, who's missing? Oh, Jesse, 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 I think. Jesse, I got a move right here. Okay, there you go. Okay, let me double check the other guys, guys. Have bullying at the co workers. I will, I will go for that. <laughs> the una. You should be a bad manager. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She's like, I don't care. Go straight to the neck. No way. No, we use a, a warning. Ah, uh -huh. give, give him another opportunity. Yes, remember that if you're using the third conditional, you can use the sentences or ideas in the two ways. First, the if part and then the consequence, or you can change it in the opposite way. The consequence and then yeah. the if part. Okay, cool. Continue working, guys. You're doing fine. We are have a night 13 and we'll have until night 18. Okay, we'll give you more time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I write uh, something. I would have told him about this problem, give to him a verbal admonition. At monot at monitor. Yeah, that's a good one. Ah, pues agréguenlas en el chat para que las copiemos, agreguemos todas las ideas. Well. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Se va a la puerta. Uh -huh. If the manager had gave him a, gave him a feedback, a feedback, remember? Si el manager le hubiera, le hubiera dado un, una retroalimentación, a oh, feedback okay. to okay. change his attitude, coma, coma, the agent wouldn't 
wouldn't get fired. ¿Recuerdan? Okay. Wouldn't get. Acuérdense okay. que la parte de would no, haga, no hace usted el, el verbo en pasado. Solo la parte del if. ¿Sí? Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, o sería más o menos así. Mire, vamos a ver. Y acuérdese que si está empezando una oración, por favor, el if, la i es mayúscula. Okay. If the manager had give him a feedback to change, to change uh -huh. his, his attitude. Okay, yeah, we can put the attitude, comma. Mm -hmm. Attitude, there you go. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Coma. Mm -hmm. The agent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The agent wouldn't got fire. Uh -huh. Wouldn't got fire. Pero se les olvidó algo. Wouldn't get fire. Porque es en presente. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we already have the negative word. Exactly. Okay. Y se le olvidó el punto al final de la oración. <laughs> yes. <laughs> period. Because if you do not put the period at the end of the sentence, I'm still waiting for more ideas to come out. So when you finish your idea, always put period at the end of the sentence. Never forget that. And remember, when you're starting a, a sentence, the first letter has to be capitalized. And if you're talking about a manager, which is basically a position in a company, also has to be capitalized. Okay? Manager has to be with capital M all the time. Maybe there are some books that they do not put that, but it's really important to do that. Okay, cool. What means, okay, I think we finished, right? If you hadn't if you hadn't bullied employees from different departments, from different departments, you're missing the S after departments, coma. He wouldn't have a call, he wouldn't have called the attention. He wouldn't have called the attention. What you would like to say, Judy? Uh -huh. Judy, what? Judy Rory, right? This maybe I I I got I your idea. To, uh, how are you, what are you trying to say? I, I try to say if he don't do bullying to other person, maybe they they don't receive a warning or a molestation. Maybe it. It is, maybe is a, is a better way to say that. Uh huh. Exactly. He wouldn't have uh, received a warning. A warning could be verbal warning, like right now or writing warning, okay? Either or. Very good, exactly, okay. very good. And remember that is departments. Okay. You gotta put the S after that. Mm -hmm. Very okay. good, excellent, you're doing good. Alrighty, let's double check the other guys and we're going to come back together, okay? Bear with me for a couple of minutes more. Let me go back to this, guys, really quickly. Don't worry if you don't have all the ideas. That's okay. Don't worry. Let's come back together and share what we do have, okay? Don't worry about that. Okay, good. Uh, Glendy, Blanquita, Erwin, go ahead. We're good. Okay, everybody's here, right? Okay, cool, guys. So how, how was the activity? Interesting? Makes you think, right? It's not easy to face those situations. Some of you have shared their ideas on the um, chat, so it's good. Excellent, good job. But I wanna hear you. Erwin, what were you were discussing? What do you have done with Roger if you were uh, uh, his manager? Uh-huh. Uh, I think I can hardly hear you. Okay, I turn it with my, with well, your internet. My okay, now much better. Now it's much better. Yeah, thank you. Okay. But in, in the company, uh -huh. you can do you can do many 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 things many, many things. Okay, this the personal want to give the say, 
Scared? It's scared, okay. Uh-huh. Yes. You scared the person's employee? Yeah, yeah. You can oh do my it. god, it's like a warning? Oh come sorry, on. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. I am, I am, uh, uh, You're a bad I'm one. Uh -huh. I know that, that, that I will do it, but I don't want to do it, okay? I don't okay. want to do it. Okay, okay. If you want to be the person to be scared, mm -hmm. okay? The first, you will do it, you will find a one person. Okay. Only that the first mistake, only the first mistake, you will do it. Only that. If the personal, if the personal will file, I know, will file. Sorry, I would say, don't say that if the personal, who, no, if the personal had file, okay, and file, I wouldn't be a good person. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. That's good. Because I, I don't know it. I don't know it. It's the practice about that we study today in the English. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. But You're... you can do it. You can do it so easy. You will, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's so easy. You will get five, the one person, hey, bye-bye, glad to meet you, okay? All the Thanks time. To meet you. In, in, the, in the morning, yeah, in the morning. You will do it in the morning. <laughs> At 10 o'clock or well, 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Sorry, I am a manifestation and enterprise. Uh -huh. I know that that you will do it. Uh, in the afternoon, all the personnel will be, Oop, hey, hey, what happened? What happened? It, the next day, all the personnel will work so hard. <laughs> to avoid yes! the situation. Yes, it's so easy. But this is one strategy that if you are a man, you can, you can, you can change. You can change. Wow. Yes, I know, teacher, I know. <laughs> So difficult. A manager. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is difficult. It's not easy to be a manager. But the, the manager will will say, Look, I don't know anything. The the the, the, the information gave me the the uh, JD mm -hmm. the direction. Uh, the right. Uh, yes, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I don't know now. The, <laughs> the manager, okay. like Poncio Pilato. Yeah. Oh my God! You wash your hands, right? Yeah, I don't know that. I don't know anything. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. But it's a good. It's a, it's a, yes, teacher. But yeah, I no, I other, believe you. Yeah. And the other person. I don't know why. I don't have it at work. I don't know why. Well, that's a very good. Yeah. And the <laughs> other person will be hit. Will be so far, okay? Yeah, because they don't want to happen the same situation, right? Or pass the same yeah. situation. Imagine Freddy's Mr. Irwin as a manager. <laughs> I, had a, I, had, I had like a like around two years ago a manager uh -huh. just like that. Really? No, yeah, that, because that, that, like he, Irwin like, or like the example that Irwin is giving us. Um, a little bit worse because he said, "Um, I want everything to be right the way I want it. Okay. If it's not, you have to do it." And I don't know how you're gonna do it, or you'll be fired. Yes. Well, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. No matter yeah. what. That, 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 it was that one that was fixing the pipe. Uh huh. I left it um, in the right way, and there was no leaks anywhere. Mm -hmm. And um, the next day I had a day off. Mm -hmm. And close to it, it uh, on the on the floor, it pops out a lot of water. Then um, he called me and he said, "Did you do your work right?" I'm like, "Yeah." Are you sure? Yeah. I just sent another person to check it out. If you didn't do your work right, you're gonna get fired. Okay. So it was a <laughs> another pipe that was broken. So he, he they took a picture and then he sent it to me. You see, it didn't do your work right. Can you check better? And then he checked the picture better. And then, then he said, um, oh yeah, that's a that's on the other one. <laughs> ah, you see, it was not my fault, right? Yeah. Wow. But, um, actually, he had um gave me like a 
<laughs> warning? <laughs> like a warning and actually like in my mind I, how he told me he had fired me already so <laughs> really wow yeah and you got fired from that job no not no. really okay but you know what that situation happens right because guys it, the situation that we put it in as an example is a situation that we pass in the companies no matter what type of company you work for it, there will always be a person or employee who has that characteristics right and sometimes yeah. as a manager as like Erwin said we need to like took like a tough decisions yeah so basically i just want a uh, erwin shared the ideas and also freddy's but i want to i want you guys i think let's see erwin works with Josue, right no 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 it was not with Josue. with judy i think with judy with freddy's and i want you guys to tell me a uh, what would be the suggestions that you can give if you were roger's manager do you remember what which what which was the reasons why roger got fired do you remember the reasons? There were like five reasons, right? Yeah. Bullying uh, the employees for different departments was the other one. Late reports. Uh huh. Late reports. There you go. That's the other one. That's not with it. The motive, and that's the other one. And use the equipment for his personal the purpose. Exactly. So yeah. that was a really, a really not good reason. He was. He's not a good employee at all. So he no. deserved it to be like quick, right? So yeah, but yeah, actually four mistakes. Uh-huh. So tell me uh, what you have discussed as a group. What you what would be the suggestion that you can give it to us if you were a Rogers manager? What you could have post. done differently for him? Post teacher, post. Uh-huh. Uh, post. You uh, try to be coach at the employees. Uh-huh. That for me is the most important the company. For example, in my business. I grab the, I give the, the, the uh, I make the coach to my personal. Uh -huh. And I have my business, I have my business because I have eight years ago, a good problem with my last boss. Oh, okay. Wow, it's so, so difficult. My last boss is a power man. Yeah, oh. it's a most power man in El Salvador. Wow. Yeah. I can probably with the most problem in the Salvador in the politics, in the money. And oh. for this one, oops, is a, a problem. For this one, I have my business. Mm. Yes, I, I, I feel I, I never will have a business. I mm -hmm. never will have, I will be a employee all my life. Mm -hmm. Because I have a problem with the most power man and he was my my, my boss. We have a different uh, concept about the, the marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my the, the really the, the really is that uh, I never did a mistake, and I, all the time I give them a lot of money in my in my last work. Oh, it's, it's, and my boss will make a mistake, yeah? and I stop. Was not easy when you passed, right? Oh my goodness! So, so bad. I know. So, so you see that situation happens. That is a real yes. a scenario. Yeah. Yes. So it's besides, a, mm -hmm. it's a good problem. I, mm -hmm. I remember that. It's I a good and a real problem. Eight years ago, nine years ago, I don't remember. I may have a project that's in Clavitina Plaza. I in my mind, I maybe, 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 but whoop! One day, the stop <laughs> I win. I'm on the wall. Only that, and I did that. Well, wow. It's so difficult. I it worked, I, I was a manager. I worked here for 15 years old. That was a lot of time. Yes, I had a, uh, but uh, it's a problem with, with, with your boss, have all the other things in the, in the work. It's so difficult. Mm -hmm. I, I, I live it. You live it in the personal, yeah, in real life. Okay, thank you so much for sharing, Erwin. What about you, Judy, Telmita, Doris? Which are your suggestions about Roger's situation? Can you give us suggestions? What did you think about it? Well, I, my suggestion, my, I suggest if the, the Roger's managers hadn't, hadn't scolded to, 
problematic employee, mm -hmm. he could do the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. The better solution is fire him <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> yeah. you're a radical, like like Irwin. <laughs> like Irwin. Straight to the neck. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's a top manager. All right. What about you, yeah. Yuri? Thank you, Talmita. What about you, Yuri? Let me see. Let me see. Uh, One of the examples that you put. Uh, <laughs> if he hasn't be bullied, bullied employees from different departments, he wouldn't have received a verbal amonestation. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What about you, Blanqui or Andresito? What do you have for us? Andresito, Blanquita, Francisco, Kenya. I want to hear you guys. Y'all are sleeping right now, I think so. I don't know. I, I think that. Uh huh. Uh, I want to see your face, Francisco. I want to see ya. Mm, mm, no, no, no. Well, in my, in, in my job, use the equipment of the office. Ah, okay. It, it's a. Mm, I don't know how do you say. Una falta grave. It's, it, 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 is, it is not allowed. It's a big mistake. It's a huge mistake. It's a big mistake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. e, this reason is obviously maybe for a. Fire all. Uh huh. For immediately fire, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So give me a, a suggestion uh, about what you have done or what you have done differently as a manager of Roger to avoid the situation or to fix the situation that was happening. Uh, maybe is to explain to the Mister Roger in in a minute in mm -hmm. a minute when. when he was mm, contratado. Hire. What? Hire. Hire. Hire, contratado, when, when fire, was, living when out. He was fired. Okay. Hire. Very good. Excellent. Good one. Now I want uh, Joshi to give me a suggestion, but using third conditional, which is the one that we're practicing right now. Okay, I will provide the agent a verbal warning. Uh huh. Hmm? Uh huh. I need to, I need you I need to hear the third conditional use. Okay, I will provide a written warning to the agent for mm -hmm. three months. Mm hmm. But what happened with the yes. if part? If he has no shame to his attitude, I will get fired. Very good. That's a good one. Thank you. Very good. What about you, Kenya? What do you have for us? If the manager has gave him a feedback to change his attitude, uh, the agent will, wouldn't get fired. Exactly. Yes. Mm hmm you could then change something different. Very good. What about you, Jessica? What you have? Blanky, what you have for us? Where are these girls? I think they're taking a top cup of coffee or break time. I think that uh -huh, Blanky. If, I was, if I was he, 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 his, his boss, uh -huh. his boss, I, I would have Hire, fire her, fire him. You will have, you will fire him. You will have fire him immediately. Yeah, because, yeah. Uh, but it depends. Uh, I don't know. What? That he, that he did. Uh -huh. And it's in a fire. Any, any. Oh my God! I. I forgot all the words in English. <laughs> you forgot. Come on, no way. Do your yeah. best. Do your best, I, girl. I'm going to focus. I'm going to focus. 
Yes, hopefully. I'm just kidding. Okay. Hey. <laughs> it depends the 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 fault that that he agreed. Uh, I think. Uh -huh, that he and did right. Uh huh. That he did. Yeah. And for me, it was a a a very difficult decision. Uh huh. I think, but it's better to the company and, and if and if that it, it can be a, a I don't know how to say conductor behavior it can be a behavior that that constantly repeat repeated so for me to arrancar el problema de raíz mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, uh, it it's it's better to fire him that would be the best solution to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me. I think most of your classmates are agree with you. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right about that. Now I want to hear um, a manager, an actual manager. Jarvin. Okay, hello, oh, teacher. I now he turned out of the camera because then an actual manager is like, hello, yes, I'm here. Oh, are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You know why Why I choose him? Because he's his position right now. And I think, Jarvin, you have faced the situation before, right? You have yeah. you have a team, but each team has a type, different type of persons, not only uh, economic, cultural, and age and everything, but also different kind of personalities. So sometimes it's really hard to deal right right especially because if part of your team members are older than you or younger than you right so tell me jarvin have you faced this situation before in the past not really not really but imagine no. that you will have a, a, a co-worker an employee or a team member like that how you will handle it okay if i have been royals manager uh -huh. you have given um interdisciplinary training uh -huh. it is, this is when you chose the employees the you show uh -huh. you show the employees the consequence of our his or her attitude ah okay how we affect the the different area the area that would be what, like maybe the first step to to follow yes but what happened if but any chance you did that and the agent doesn't change her behavior or his behavior. You made the first, I don't know who say. Right, right, writing warning? Yes. Right. Writing or verbal? Writing is first or verbal, then verbal? Verbal, 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 verbal right? is the first. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. After is the, the writing. And after the writing? You, yes. Wow. So can you imagine having a team member like that? Would you like to have a team member like that? No, right? It was difficult. It, yeah. It would have been really difficult. I, I imagine, right? I imagine having a, a person like that where it's not easy. Mm -hmm. You always deal with person, a difficult person, but yes. not, not in this case. Not like yeah, this. not like that, right? Because this person, even though you try to help him, doesn't want to change at all. Yeah. And imagine a, an employee using a, a not appropriate work language to talk to you. Oh, this and, is, and, and, and this and this guy, Roger, that is one of the reasons we got fired. Yes. The for example, in my company mm -hmm. or the company that I work. Uh, we only work men. Ah, so only men? Is the bad word is common. I know. But you have to try to, to deal with that. I hate that. And you have to be a little bit different like him. Mm -hmm. Yes, because when you deal with girls, it's... No, but yeah. Im imagine to that that person, that is one of the reasons why he got fired, that person used that not appropriate language, but not like to communicate, use it to offend, to defend the manager, which is the cause of Roger. So that is one of the reasons we got fired. Because uh, uh, it, yeah, it could be your, you could be one-on-one, it could be the same manager, but you had to respect, right? There's some guidelines that you need to follow. 
Yes, uh, when you are working, you have to know that anyone has to be trying to treat like that. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if that is one thing, but what, for example, look at this scenario, the, the, that reason that we were mentioned, what you could have done different or to help um, Roger in this case to avoid this behavior, to use the bad words in, a, in the work environment, what would you have done as a Roger's manager? You, if you, you have done what you will have been to try to speak with him, mm -hmm. if you have and, and try to to show him how to to talk with another person. Mm -hmm. It's it's a little bit difficult because the person don't like to to someone that's say like. something. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, like yeah, something bad. What you about? Yeah, what about if you found out that he was using that computer for a personal purposes, not for work purposes? What do you have done as a Royer's manager to change that behavior? And I want you to, to use the third conditional in this case. Okay. Oof. <laughs> Stop, right? We're speaking, yeah. we're practicing speaking skill right now. Yes, I think I go. I could have given given him a, a second opportunity, uh -huh. but he don't change. I I would fire him. You will fire. You see. So you yes. Ne nobody wants to have a Rogers as a team member, right? No. no, no <laughs> okay. You see, guys, how it's important and it's really useful. The third conditional. We're talking about things. So I think now you're more clear what is the difference between the first conditional and the third conditional, right? Is it different? You, do you have any uh, ideas or any doubts about the difference between the two uses? Because both of them are conditionals, but the third conditional is totally different from the first one. Do you have any doubts about the third conditional use? ¿Alguna duda sobre cómo se usa el condicional, el tercer condicional? No? Are you clear? Like water or like horchata? Doris, Telmita. Uh -huh. um, even if we use might or my in the second yeah. part, uh -huh. we need to use have. You need to use have or you need to use another verb. Because remember that might, could, or have are model verbs. They are not the main verbs, but in most cases, you gotta use have. Mm -hmm. Very good. Guys, do you remember that we're going to put in practice the listening skill? Remember that? Okay. Yeah, now we're going to work with the reasoning skill. And I wanna share with you something. Basically, this situation that we're about to hear, um, basically, guys, is that we are we're going to listen to three peoples talking about predicaments, okay? And the first time that you're going to listen this, I, all that I need to, you to do is to let me know which is the first, the second, and the third that is mentioned. I want you to give me or help me put it in order, the ideas. So in this case, in order for you to do that, I would need to share some information with you right now. So allow me just a couple of minutes. There you go. Let me share it right now with you. Okay. I, I think you already have it, right? You already have it with you? Yes? Do you have it? Yes. I sent it to the WhatsApp. Okay, yes, this is you have this is what you have right now. Okay, so we have one, two, three. Okay, this is three sentences. So, deep this predicament, these suggestions, okay, these situations we're talking about, and we'll put in a practice third conditional right now. Okay, two people were fighting in the street. The first situation a friend lost all her money while traveling. Second situation a friend has serious shopping problem. Third situation, I these guys. I want you to listen the entire situation and you need to let me know which is the first one, the second or the third that is mentioned, okay? 
And then we are going to listen one more time and then we're going to focus on the suggestions that each person is given or gives according to the scenario that is facing. You got it? Yeah? Okay. So let me share right now my screen. You have what I have shared with you. I want you to have that because I want you to help me with this. Ready? Yep. Ah, no, 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 no. I know that is Friday and the body knows that it's Friday. But are you guys ready to rock and roll? Yes. Okay, yes. that's the spirit that I need. Yes. Come on. I need energy. Woohoo. All right, very good. So let me share right now my screen with that. Okay, let's listen. Listen to three people talk about predicaments. Mm -hmm. Number them from one to three in the order they are discussed. One. I just got a postcard from my friend Carrie. She lost all her money on vacation in Europe. Isn't that horrible? Yeah, that's terrible. Jane, what would you do if you were on vacation overseas and you lost all your money in credit cards? I guess I'd call my parents and ask them to send me some money right away. What about you, Bert? Yeah, I'd probably do the same thing. Although, maybe I'd try going to the embassy or consulate to see if they could help me. What about you, Susan? Well, I guess I'd probably sell my watch and camera. Or I might get a job as a waitress somewhere till I made enough money to buy a plane ticket home. Okay, so according to the information that I sent it to you, what is the first as a scenario? Which is number one? The middle okay. one. Uh, friend friend Which one? The middle one. Uh, uh -huh. What is the middle one says? What does it say? But the friend lost all her money while traveling. Uh huh. Exactly. Very good job. Okay, let's continue listening. Two. You know, I'm really worried about Carol. Why? Well, I think she has a serious shopping problem. Really? Yes, she keeps buying things and putting everything on her credit card. I don't think she realizes how hard it's going to be to pay all the money back. I don't know what to do. What would you do if you discovered a friend had major financial problems? Oh, no question. I'd talk to her about it. Oh, I don't think I would. Why not? Well, because it's really none of my business. I wouldn't tell a friend what to do in that type of situation, so I wouldn't say or do anything about it. Well, I think I'd probably talk to her family about it. It's a personal problem, and they should try to help her first. Uh -huh. What is number two? Three. Oh, number the three. One. The last one. All right. What about number three? You know, I was faced with a tough situation the other day. I was walking down the street and saw two people fighting. It looked pretty violent, but I didn't know what to do, so I just walked away. I figured it was none of my business, but now I think I should have done something. What would you do if you saw two people fighting on the street? I'm not really sure, but I know I'd have to do something. I guess I would call the police. No, that takes too long. I'd try to break it up. But you could get hurt if you did that. Well, then I'd try to get someone to help me break it up. In the meantime, I'd shout for someone to call the police. Aha. Uh -huh. So then the last one is the first one, right? Okay. Yes. Very good. We could say that this is the easiest part. Now, I will play the audio one more time, but I don't want you guys to let me know which is to come first, second, and third. Now, I want you to listen carefully since you already know what will be the first one, the first situation mentioned. Listen carefully the suggestions that each person gives to each scenario. You will listen at least three suggestions for each different scenario. Okay? And I'm, and guys, I'm going to be a really bad teacher today. Why? Because I'm not going to stop each as an area. On the last two, I have two suggestions that I heard. Uh-huh. On the first one, I forgot it. 
Okay. So we're going to play it one more time. I'm not going to stop like already past the situation. I won't give you time to write it down. No way, Jose. I will put all the audio together. I'm not going to put any stop. Okay. So I just want you to focus a thousand percent and get the three suggestions for each situation. Okay. And I want to play it one more time. All righty. I know I'm going to be a hardest teacher, but we need to develop the listening skill. Here, let's play it one more time. Page 101, exercise four, listening. Tough predicaments. Part A, listen to three people talk about predicaments. Number them from one to three in the order they are discussed. One. I just got a postcard from my friend Carrie. She lost all her money on vacation in Europe. Isn't that horrible? Yeah, that's terrible. Jane, what would you do if you were on vacation overseas and you lost all your money in credit cards? I guess I'd call my parents and ask them to send me some money right away. What about you, Bert? Yeah, I'd probably do the same thing. Although, maybe I'd try going to the embassy or consulate to see if they could help me. What about you, Susan? Well, I guess I'd probably sell my watch and camera. Or I might get a job as a waitress somewhere till I made enough money to buy a plane ticket home. Two. You know, I'm really worried about Carol. Why? Well, I think she has a serious shopping problem. Really? Yes, she keeps buying things and putting everything on her credit card. I don't think she realizes how hard it's going to be to pay all the money back. I don't know what to do. What would you do if you discovered a friend had major financial problems? Oh, no question. I'd talk to her about it. Oh, I don't think I would. Why not? Well, because it's really none of my business. I wouldn't tell a friend what to do in that type of situation, so I wouldn't say or do anything about it. Well, I think I'd probably talk to her family about it. It's a personal problem, and... They should try to help her first. Three. You know, I was faced with a tough situation the other day. I was walking down the street and saw two people fighting. It looked pretty violent, but I didn't know what to do, so I just walked away. I figured it was none of my business, but now I think I should have done something. What would you do if you saw two people fighting on the street? I'm not really sure, but I know I'd have to do something. I guess I would call the police. No, that takes too long. I'd try to break it up. But you could get hurt if you did that. Well, then I'd try to get someone to help me break it up. In the meantime, I'd shout for someone to call the police. Okay. Was it hard? Was it hard? Yes or no? no? No. Not for some of you, but for all other other of you, Doris, Delmita, Erwin, Maddie. Um, a little bit. A little bit. I know. Yeah. Why? Because you didn't have chance to like finish the first idea, right? When you have the other one coming. Oh. I know. I know. We're just gonna keep doing those kind of exercises. <laughs> Yes, because it, it, it will help you like speed up a little bit. Yeah, you and, and also try to practice the multitasking. Okay, so do me an idea. Let me go back and share the screen. And let's go back to the scenarios. Okay, the first scenario was the second one you said, right? A friend lost all her money while traveling. What was the first suggestion that was given? Tell her parents to send some money. Aha. Uh -huh. That is one of them. Do you have any other one? Um, I think the other one was um to go to the counselors to get help. Uh-huh. And there was a third and, one. And the third one it was sell her watch and her camera or get a job. Uh-huh. Exactly. Very good job. What about number two? I think there was a friend has a serious shopping problem, right? 
Okay, uh, I know that Freddy already got it, but I want somebody else. Okay. So uh, no, it's not, a, it's, not, it's not that I don't want to listen to your beautiful voice. It's not that. Yeah, someone <laughs> else has to practice too. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Uh-huh, let me check. Uh, Kenya, what, what did you get? I would talk to her family, if I remember what. Uh, okay, very good, okay. Uh, Yuri, do you have a second one? Talk with her family too. Talk with her family too. I, there was another <laughs> one. You copy Kenya, come on. <laughs> that's okay, that's the only one you remember? Uh, talk with her. Talk to her, talk to her directly. Yes, very good. And there's a third one. Doris, do you remember that? No. <laughs> no, okay. Thank you so much for being honest. Don't worry about it. Yoshi? I just no? listen to talk just to her, to? especially because they mentioned there was a personal problem. Uh-huh. Mm. And they can talk, yes, her, uh, her family to uh, try to talk to her, but uh -huh. they cannot get into her business. Aha, uh -huh, very good. It's only two suggestions or there were third suggestions? Did you listen one more time, one of them? Or only two? Maddie, Judy, Delmita, Jesse? Nobody listens, like Nobody listens, right? Uh, uh -huh. uh, Miss, I only uh, listening to two suggestions. Only two suggestions, okay, that's yeah. okay. No, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Okay, very good. And the last one, two people were fighting in the street. Uh-huh. May I have please Madeline one the first suggestion? I will call the police. We'll call the police. Okay, very good. There was another one, Jarvin. Try to try to break up. Try to break up. You know yes. what does it mean? No. When they say try to break up. Eh, interferir. Ah, apartarlos, right? Try to break up. Like, hey, 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 dude, come on, come on, hold your horses, right? Yeah, calm down, please and stop fighting. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you could be in the middle to stop the fight. Break up is to stop the fight. Okay, uh -huh. thank you. And you get like punch, right? No, I'm just kidding. All right, very good. Uh huh. The, uh, Erwin, do you remember a third one? Uh -huh. Do you remember or no? No. No, don't worry about that. Delmita. Do you remember a third one? I only listen to the call. <laughs> Calling the police. Calling the police, but <laughs> yes, at least you remember better. one of them, which is good. Yes. Don't worry, that's and, okay. And, and to break up. To break up. Okay. Uh-huh. One more. Josue, Blanqui, Francisco. Ready? Um, was someone when he was trying to break them up? Have someone else to call the police? Yeah, your microphone. For, uh, we can we can listen you. Miss. Okay. Do you think that that's good, Freddy? Do you think that? Thank you, Mari. Do you think that this exercise was a little bit tough? Was tough? Not really. Okay, not for you, but what about for the rest? Elmita, Doris? Un poquito difícil? A little. A little, right? Retain information that was yes, difficult. Exactly. That's why, guys, we're practicing listening. Teacher, you know what I do? Yes, sir. When I'm, when I'm hearing a conversation, I imagine it like I make that scenario in my head. Ah, that's good. In order to memorize. Uh huh. That's a good one. That's a good tip, guys. Guys, I, this week I will send you more listening exercises. Okay? More listening exercises that will help you a lot. Especially because when we are working with people, etc., we Maybe, well, the call center agents, they are just to it, depends on what type of account you work for. But um, basically, one of the hardest part to deal with or to pay attention to is when somebody is given his name, her name, right, with the spelling. Also, when you are 
uh, listening phone numbers, right? And you need to write it down. And when you are listening email addresses as well, email addresses are one of the most difficult to get because for example, maybe for example, they said Mary that Fonseca at gmail.com, for example. And you said, ah, Mary spells M-A-R-Y, right? Well, normally, but guess what? Mary, so, sometimes Mary is not, not spelled like that way. Yeah, exactly. Or sometimes the email addresses, they're like, um, they're like fabricate, okay? They are not real, right? They are fake. So you need to learn and remember, I know maybe you already know the numbers, you already know the alphabet, right? But when there's somebody's giving you that information, especially if it has a different accent, that's the issue. So I'm going to send you a lot of listening exercises. You don't have to give it to me. It's not a homework, but it's, it's a tip or it's an extra information to help you develop that skill. Would you like me to do that? Yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm going to send it to you. Uh, guys, I know that you love me and I love you too, but I think the time is over. It's time oh, is yeah. over right now. Yeah. So I think I'm going to stand with Madeline today. 101. Okay, miss. Okay, so bye, guys. I'm just Night. <laughs> okay, uh, have a good night. Okay, and kisses. Have a lovely night and take care. Okay, have an amazing weekend. Bye bye. Hi, hey, buddy. How are you, girl? I'm fine. And you, miss? A little bit tired. <laughs> uh, yes, a little bit tired, but amazing at the same time. Yeah, it's Friday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a little bit tired because today and the body knows it. And the body knows it. Yeah, the body knows it for sure. Yeah, for sure. Like hopefully yeah. I can sleep more today because I don't have enough time to sleep. But getting the age, you know, you need to sleep more to recover yeah. your batteries, to recharge your batteries, actually. Uh, How you feel about the topics that we have seen so far? Maybe for your for the class. Uh -huh. uh, this uh, was a little bit difficult. This topic, I the third conditional? A doubt. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I don't know if uh, the end of the, when we use, I will, I will have, a, uh, always we need to use. Yes, always. Or because uh, you, you, Ah, okay. Uh -huh. uh, let, because you uh, show us uh, one example and you didn't put the hat and for that reason I have uh, that question. Yes, uh, you. Most of the it, time, yes. Most you you can depends on what you're going to say. Definitely depends on that. Sometimes uh -huh. you need to use the would, or might, or could. It only just one main verb, but sometimes you gotta use have before the third verb. Mm -hmm. uh, so it depends on what you would like to say. But most of the time, you will use it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when cool and night? Mm, not really, but with wood, yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Only with wool. Only with wood or wouldn't. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other doubt about that? Yeah. Uh, Only that? No. 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 Okay. <laughs> Only How you that feel? How you feel so far? Yeah. Do you have any feedback for me? You're frozen, like, I think a little bit better. No, no, I'm sorry. No, you're like this, like, like called God <laughs> smile, like this. Yeah. And now? Much better, yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um, Do you have any feedback for me? No, I think that you're doing a good job. Oh, oh I'm so and glad. I, I like uh, how you express, how you teach us, and I like it. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. I'm trying to do my best. Sometimes I speak a little bit faster, right? Sometimes. Oh, yeah. But, but, no, but don't uh, worry it about it. Me. 
No, but that helped me because uh, there are different uh, kind, of, uh, kind of people that express differently and that helped me a lot. Yeah, that helps a lot, especially you work in a call center, right? So you don't know who you're going to receive a call and it's not the same to have a face-to-face -face that to receive a call. Yeah, and sometimes we don't uh, listen very well when they speak. And... Uh -huh. There's some interference, right? Uh, uh, children crying or they are um, driving, for example. You, you listen to klaxon or you're listening like a traffic, right? Or there's raining or there's always a bad connection, right? Like uh -huh. in this it's, moment. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. There are some delays, right? Delays in the message. So that everything, all of that, it makes like a challenge for you. That's why I'm doing this kind of listening exercises. I know that they are hard. I know. But it was difficult for me because uh, retaining information, uh, I think that is my... Uh, Debilidad, eh, I don't know. My weakness. weakness, my weakness. weakness. It's, one of, it's one of my weakness. Uh -huh. and mm -hmm. I think that I need to work in that. And that is really crucial because of the kind of yoga that you do. Yeah. Right? So I don't know what you do, but for example, if you're listening right now and receiving calls, in my case, I do have a notepad opened. Mm -hmm. A notepad. A block. A, a block or a, a sticky note, a notepad. Yeah, oh. so just for you to write, because you already have like an idea what you have to ask, right? When you receive a call, for example. My best recommendation will be to always have a notepad. You know, you're not going to write all the questions or all the answers the customer gave it to you, all the information that the customer gave it to you, but at least the main ideas that it will help you complete your task once you finish and hang up with the customer. Yeah, so, because mm -hmm. they, sometimes the uh, people uh, doesn't like repeat information. Uh -huh. But also mm -hmm. you, you cannot say, for example, there's a tip that you can use uh, uh, to improve your customer service and at the same time to get a good customer satisfaction, a survey, right? I don't know if you have a survey after each call, it depends on the company that you work for, but you, you, can, sh you can show that you are listening but in that, or maybe you can show that um, in a polite way, you can ask in a polite way. Because mm. you said, for example, you said, this person told me that, but I didn't understand mm -hmm. or, I, or I couldn't listen well, right? So you don't want to uh, transmit that you don't know, right? <laughs> you just want to <laughs> transmit that you're trying to do your best and you're giving up the best customer service that you can. For example, you can say, oh, so if I understood you correctly, what you said is, and you just make like a brief review. And oh. then the person will say, yes, it is. Or no, that's not. Oh, may I apologize. Could you please be so kind to provide me that information once again? So you see, that means uh -huh. Uh -huh. It, do, it, you, it doesn't show that you were not paying attention or you did not understand. You just show the customer that you were like, you got the information, but you just need to repeat a little bit just to double confirm that what you got is right. Uh -huh. And okay. they don't get mm -hmm. mad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> that would improve your customer service uh, skills, but at the same time, your quality and also your customer satisfaction service. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss. You're more than welcome. Yeah. <laughs> you, I, I'm a cost. I have working uh, like a 14 years in the customer service department. Okay. So you improve <laughs> the way that you treat your. You always think about that you you all sometimes you are a customer as well. When you go to Claro, when you go to Anda, when you go to the Sur, etc. So try to treat your customer the way that you would like to be treated. Yeah. And even though mm -hmm. you already know what they are going to say or the answer for their question, do not interrupt the customer. Let the customer speak. And if the customer is mad, let him be. Maybe you're not going to feel good if they use some uh, words that uh, makes you feel uncomfortable. Of course, it's, they are not about, they're not mad about you. 
They're mad about the procedure, about the customer service that they got, another agent who helped them, etc. They're not mad about you. So don't take it personally because that will affect your metrics. Cool. Remember, maybe the first call, you got an angry customer. You're gonna hang up, take a deep breath, go and drink some water, <laughs> get ready to receive the other call. It will be a somebody else different. Yeah. You see? Maybe happy. Yeah, <laughs> so don't happy. take don't take it personally. Because if you take it personally, the rest of the calls, you're gonna you're gonna answer wrong, you're gonna get a wrong skills about QA and very, very not good customer satisfactions. Yeah. Okay, so I will that's the tips that I will give it to you. The call center okay. experience. You're welcome. I will send you some extra information that I know that will help you to improve your customer service skills. Or if you have okay. any doubts or any questions, feel free to ask me. I'd be more than glad to give you a hand on it. Okay. 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 Thank you, Miss. All right. So it's time to say goodbye because I know that you are angry or maybe you're tired. But I'm so <laughs> happy and I'm so glad that you took the, this extra time for the one on one session. And I always will be there. Okay. For any doubts okay. or any questions that you might have. Okay, honey. Okay. Thank so, you. Hugs and kisses. Have a lovely Bye. night. Bye. Bye. Have a good. We you can. too. Bye-bye.